Hi everyone. Thank you for all of you who are subscribing to these videos. Those of you that are, that are sharing these videos with others, please continue to do so because I'm encouraged by the feedback that I'm getting. And uh, for those of you that are blessed by this but you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and uh, you can receive more of these new videos when they come out. Well, the scripture devotional that I want to share with you uh, today is out of 1 Corinthians 1, verse 26 until 31. I had early, earlier talked about the wisdom of God out of 1 Corinthians 1, 18 and 22, etc. But uh, what I wanted to focus on in these verses is a call to humility that Paul is giving to each one of us, or actually God is giving to each one of us. He said, Consider your calling, brethren. There weren't very many that were wise. There weren't very many that were strong or mighty. Not too many noble. But God has called, what? The foolish things of this world to shame the wise. He's called to despise the things that are not, the things that are discarded. Why? So that no one would boast before God. Why does he say these things? Well, there are lots of people that have achieved lots of success. How? Through their power, through their knowledge, through some sort of authority, whether it be administrative authority or whether it be just the ability to put words together and share them. Other people have achieved great success uh, through their talents. They, they either have artistic talents, musical talents, they have political abilities, they have uh, abilities to do many different things, and people are impressed by it and they pay big money for that. So they'll, they'll achieve riches and fame and honor, at least in the world. But God, God has chosen the strange things of this world to shame those that think that they are something. Why? Remember the message. Remember what is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is the love of God. The love of God sent Jesus to the cross. And that is stupidness to people. But the people that receive the message, they're the ones being filled with the love of God and the wisdom of God. So even though people might accuse you of being stupid, being a moron, you're an idiot for, for following Christ, the love of God that sent Jesus to the cross is what has saved us and what guides us and what we depend on each and every day if we're truly following God. Watch out. Watch out that you're not being seduced by the power or the authority or the riches or fame or honor of this world because it will lead you maybe for many, many years on a wrong track that will deceive you into thinking, I've got everything that I need. God comes to us when we truly find out that we cannot live this life on our own simply because we weren't made that way. He made us. He loves us. He wants us to enter in the fellowship with Him. And then we experience the craziness or the stupidity of the gospel because it humbles every wise man when they see the peace of God that passes all understanding, the love of God that passes all knowledge, and the greatness of God which surpasses all power manifested in our lives. May people come to know God, know Jesus, simply because we walk into a room and the grace of God is so manifested that people turn around and they want what we have. They'll stop wanting wisdom, they'll stop wanting power, they'll stop wanting authority, and they'll humble themselves before the very God who has all those things, who is willing to give those things to us if we simply follow Him. But remember that as we follow Him, we will be persecuted. People will say that you're an idiot for doing so. 
and they'll say other things about you. So, are you willing to have whatever power or riches or fame that the world offers? Or are you willing to have the God who made you, who wants the best for you? Those other things will fade away. But the love of God and the Word of God, the truth of God, will never fail, will never be stomped on, will never be demolished. So, the choice is yours today. God bless you.